in frustration or we could be narrow minded and get where we need to go we could focus we could navigate our way through the skies or through the ground to get to point A to point B now you may say why should I bother why should I navigate simple if we navigate in our narrow mind to calculate our destination we'll get there eventually see when I started writing those books it was after I got sick and was in the hospital it was around September October when it was October I came back I was furious and I wrote as I said how can I be kept down I'm going to start doing something with myself and I did I wrote many seem that just putting stuff out there maybe it was but the fact is I enjoyed creating I enjoyed the creating process I enjoyed coming together and doing things in my mind and putting things together and I'm going to discuss more after this break, and I'm going to wrap up the podcast. If you're looking for a brand new item, you can find the latest in art fashion on mugs, necklaces, and T-shirts. These designs are creative, and they're one of a kind. You won't find anything like it. You can find it at cafepress.com forward slash Joseph Valdi Creative Art. I personally recommend it. That is... www.cafepress.com slash Joseph Evaldi that is J-O-S-E-P-H E-V-A-L-D-I Creative Art Back to the podcast Yes, well, I'm going to wrap it up. It's doing the things that you enjoy and finding the passion for it. Well, it comes full circle. How do you find passion? Well, we do it. When I went through that gap, and I found the passion and I just did and I came out and I put out I enjoyed doing the things that I did I enjoyed every bit of it I enjoyed strategizing I enjoyed doing the goals I enjoyed coming out with the things that I enjoy doing now I didn't have many friends at the time. I had one woman. That woman, oh, you know the story. I don't have to recap. But let's just say finding the passion again. And doing the things we enjoy, you know. 
I'm going to leave this podcast and I'm going to end it on this note. We find the passion to do things when times are bleak, we find the passion to do things when times are bleak and times are meek, and then we prosper and we come alive. We come alive through the daunting of times and we come alive through the times of pain and we produce. We don't see it as that is our greatest achievement until we have created. When I was down at that time, when I wrote, I didn't see it as a great time. But I wrote, then I looked back, and I created and I achieved. That time that I was down, that all hell was after me with finances, came up with art, and I created through passion. And you know, maybe I don't have the time to do the Maybe I don't have the passion to do whatever I once had, but I am creating it again, and I'm finding new passion in the activities that I enjoy. And I believe that soon I will be creating things that I enjoy in life as I move forward doing the things that I enjoy because what is life? many people in life fight over for survival Maybe it is survival for them. Maybe we're going through many problems. Maybe we've got to give back. The thing is, how much of it can you give and give and give without receiving within eventually if you don't receive and you're not open then your passions become dull and your activities become routine That's why create zest and put life into those activities. And I'm going to wrap this up by saying your activities are you. Make it your best. This has been the Joseph Evaldi Podcast. Have a good night. Until next week, or tomorrow, or whenever, good night.